Okay, sixth grade, lesson 61. This is on adding three or more fractions. Okay, so for example, write this on your paper. Okay, what do you notice about the denominators? They're all different. Yeah. And they need to be the same to be able to add them. So, I'm going to write this. They are multiples of two, right? They are multiples of two. Okay, but what will every number go into? But first of all, I'm going to write this vertically. So, plus one-fourth plus one-eighth. Okay, that's just the way I do it. You don't have to. Okay, and then what I do is I try to come up with a denominator that eight will go into, four will go into, and two will go into. All three of these will go in the same number. Okay. This one's easy. Eight. It just happens to be the, the um, biggest one of these, but watch. Will A go into eight? Yep. Yep. Will four go into eight? Yep. Will two go into eight? Yep. Yeah. So that's the one we have to use. So I'm going to make eight on the bottom of every one of these. Okay? So for me to get eight to eight, did I have to do anything? No, so I just bring that one over. But to get from 4 to 8, did I have to do something? What? Uh, multiply by 2. Uh-huh, so I have to do the top one like that. And that's 2. 2, okay. Now this one, to get from 2 to 8. 2 times 4. Huh, times 4. Since I did that one times 4. The one times 4 is 4. Okay, so this is my new problem. And I can erase this, or you can just leave it on the paper. I'm going to put plus right there. Okay? So now, do you remember what to do with um, these kind of problems? You just add the Denom numerator. No, numerator. 4 plus 2? 6. Plus 1? Seven. 7. And we just bring the 8 down. 7 eighths is the answer. Feel like you understand it? Mm-hmm. All right, let's try another one. Last one. And it's a little bit harder because it's a mixed number. Do you remember doing mixed numbers? Okay. And it writes it out horizontally, but I'm going to write it out vertically because that works better like that. Okay. So one and a half. That's one of them. I'm going to write that one down. Plus two and one third. Plus three and one sixth. What do you think? What number? Will all three of these denominators go into? They might all go into six. They right? all do, yes, okay. right. So will three go into six? Three times two. Yeah. Will two go into six? Two times three. Okay, so let's use six. I'm going to put six on the bottom. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, go on and work yours and see what you get for just a minute, and then we'll finish out the problem. Okay? Same way we did a while ago. Okay. Now, once you get six on the bottom of all of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I was thinking. So one and three six, two and two six, and three and one six. Is that what you got? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go on and add up our our um, numerators. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6 out of 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Do you so see what we did? Seven whole. Seven whole. Because I have one, or I have six whole piece, whole pies, and then I have, you're exactly right. Well, six. <laughs> six out of six makes another whole pie. So it's six whole pies with another whole pie makes. Seven. You get that? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. That is lesson 61.